Uh, Chairman Taylor, I just want to ask you a quick question today about some of the language um, in Senate Bill 3 surrounding discrete protections of private schools. Several constituents have reached out to me and inquired about the phrase, may not, which is used in multiple places in the bill and the substitute as well. Um, for instance, in the floor substitute, page 7, line 21 through 24 reads, the content or religious nature of a product or service may not be considered in determining whether a payment for the product or service and the expense allowed, et cetera, et cetera. These constituents have concerns that may not is not strong enough because, as we know, in legislative language, may is permissive and shall is compulsory. I just want, can you explain to us and those out there with this specific concern the choice of the phrase may not over something seemingly stronger such as shall not? Sure, and thank you for that question. In uh, legalese, they're both at the same level, may not and shall not. Uh, now, you are, you're correct, and it's permissive if, if we say in statute that you may do something or you shall do something, may is permissive shall there's no choice in this case may not shall not shall not have the same legal definition i think the best example i can give you is like when your mom told you you may not do that that wasn't permissive it was pretty pretty serious if you, you had consequences it's a more polite way of saying it correct? yeah it's yeah. just a polite way of saying you're not going to do that okay so it so has that stronger meaning it, it's, it's exactly just, the same okay that's what i need to know and mr president i moved to have the exchange between chairman chairman taylor and myself reduced to writing and placed in the journal please uh, any objection? Hearing none, adopt it.